Stakeholders at the British Council's inclusive education program in the Philippines are advocating for the full implementation of the 2023 Minister of Education's inclusive national education policy. They believe that if implemented, it will bridge learning gaps across all states. The acting country director of the British Council highlighted the importance of the policy dialogue. I believe that uh, children, every child matters and that children have a fundamental right to access education. That's why we're so passionate about uh, inclusion. That's why we've brought together different stakeholders from um, governments, both at the federal level as well as at uh, state level, as, as well as development partners, practitioners, teachers, school leaders, to come and discuss how we bridge the gap from policy to practice in inclusive education. The Minister of State for Education in the Philippines states that the country has policies and strategies for inclusive education, integrating children with special needs alongside normal ones. She calls for curriculum amendments and emphasizes the government's holistic approach to addressing challenges for how to cater for those schools while in school, which include a more holistic approach in terms of provision, not only for the infrastructural demands for those special needs, but also in terms of teacher training, uh, teachers that can cope with those special needs students. Uh, and then apart from that also, even so, to some level, even the curriculum itself must be amended, must be, uh, as I said, it has to be a holistic approach in ensuring inclusivity in our school. For Lashadia Defisayo, the lead paper presenter emphasized the significance of inclusive education, urging the government to have the political will to implement this program, aiming to boost children's confidence. Implementing the things in those proposals, and that's why I came up with the major challenges, which would include federal and state um, cooperation and collaboration, and the states being willing to listen and take on this policy, and as well as providing funding for it, and not just putting it in the budget, but actually releasing funds. So all children should be able to learn and develop to their full potential together. The challenge I think for all countries, including Nigeria, is how to um, make education accessible, remove the barriers that disabled children may face, uh, and to make schools friendly and welcoming places. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.